Hello folks, my name is uh, Nirmal Hari and uh, I'm in charge for PCA site here in Arburg. So Arburg is located in the Inter Lake area. And uh, today we're going to talk about the winter wheat uh, uh, trials we have here. So we have a, a few trials here. Um, uh, on my right side, we have fall rye. And uh, just behind me, we have the McWet winter wheat. And we also have the Ducks Unlimited winter wheat fertility trial. So we have these trials here, and uh, we have uh, Al Mercascu from Ducks Unlimited. Um, he's going to talk about winter wheat varieties as well as about uh, the Ducks Unlimited uh, fertility trial. Okay, thanks, Nirmal. Yeah, we'll just uh, go through these McVet plots here, and we'll uh, go through each variety, and I'll make a few comments on each one of them. So the first uh, variety we're looking at here is AC Gold, AAC Gold Rush, and... Uh, it's uh, a variety that's probably designed more so for, for Manitoba. Uh, it's got uh, pretty uh, good yield potential and uh, its uh, winter hardiness is substantially improved over some of the uh, older varieties that we'll be discussing a little bit further down here. Uh, the next uh, variety is AAC Iceland. It's a white winter wheat variety. So it's basically uh, being uh, designed and bred for the um, the flatbread market, I guess, and for the noodle market. Uh, so it's fairly limited yield potential. Uh, probably more specifically designed for uh, Alberta production, but uh, an interesting variety. Uh, looks like it has really nice heads on it and really you know, significant uh, yield potential for that particular variety. Next up is AAC Vortex. So this variety is uh, being bred as the uh, replacement for Emerson. And again, um, all of these newer varieties that I'm talking about here have uh, substantially improved winter hardiness. Uh, Vortex is gonna, you know, it's probably not amongst the highest yielders, but it's gonna be, you know, in the top two or three anyways. So W522 is a variety from the University of Manitoba, Anita, Anita Dr. Anita, Ruli Babel's variety, and uh, it's it's looking pretty good. I believe its uh, fusarium resistance is is good, and uh, it's looked good in all of the all the trials that we've looked at so far at all the diversification centers. So uh, it looks quite promising, and be really curious to see how it does yield wise uh, come uh, harvest. Next up is AAC Network. So you can possibly see or from uh, the shot here that it is somewhat uh, shorter variety. Uh, it's designed to or being bred as a replacement for Gateway, just with much improved winter hardiness. Uh, Gateway has pretty good winter hardiness if it's seeded on time. If you get uh, delayed uh, seeding for whatever reason in the fall, that's when we see varieties like uh, Gateway and and this year we've seen the, the same thing happen with Emerson, that uh, if the seeding uh, dates were delayed, then we were seeing uh, you know, increased winter kill with those, with those varieties. So having in, improved winter hardiness is going to be a, a big improvement uh, over Gateway. And yeah, Emerson is, is basically the standard that uh, uh, most growers would be familiar with Emerson. It's been grown in the province for a number of years. Uh, it's, it's uh, believe it, uh, rated resistant to fusarium, and that's the you know the, the main reason why most growers will will turn to Emerson in Manitoba. Um, again, one of the issues that we're seeing with you know both Emerson and Gateway is that when when seeding dates are compromised, that's when we can see those varieties uh, experiencing higher levels of winter kill, and with that, um, uh, some of these new varieties hold a lot of promise.